So guys, this is our microphone module and this is the LED. So let me blow a whistle and see does it get detected or not. I am not very good at blowing whistles but I will try. See the whistle is detected. Now again I try. See again the whistle is detected. See normal talking is not detected because in the programming here we are just using a simple technique for the detection of sound. Now see that we simply initialized our pin of the sensor and we initialize the LED and we check if the sound is detected and then we use a delay here that if the sound is there for more than 200 milliseconds so it can only be a whistle normal talking cannot be there for 200 milliseconds and then this if still it is there then it turns on the LED for 3 seconds else it's off simple as that. So this gives us this result simple as that. Hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video I will show you how you can detect sound using a microphone and then we will display the output using an LED like whenever the sound is detected an LED will turn on. So let's get started. So guys this is our PIC 16 fa 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a DIP version. And guys this over here is a microphone sensor module you can directly use a microphone as well but then you will need amplifiers to convert the low uh, low value signals to high value. So it's better you simply use this module it's cheap and easily available in the market. So guys let me show you how to connect this with a pick. To connect this with a pick it's very simple as you can see we have only three pins here. The right one is the VCC the center one is the ground and the left one is the output pin. And it's a digital input output whenever the sound is detected it goes low and by default it's high. So let's uh, do the connections connect the VCC directly with the VCC of the pick ground with the ground of the pick and for the output pin you can use any available digital input output pin of the pick. I'm going to use a pin number D1 that is pin number 20 of the pick 16 f 877 a microcontroller. Now guys this over here is an LED. So this is the LED which will turn on as soon as the sound is detected. We will program it in such a way. Now let me show you this has only two, wire, two uh, pins, one longer and one shorter. Now guys I label them as the longer pin as a power, the shorter one as a ground. And then to connect it with the pig you will need a safety resistor. This will save the LED from getting burned. So it can be of any value from 100 to 500 ohm. Higher the value of the resistor, the dimmer the LED will go. So I am going to use a 220 ohm, you can also use the same value, it is an ideal resistor. Now guys let us connect it with a pick. So you connect the longer pin of the LED to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this. From the other end of this 220 ohm resistor you can connect it to any available digital input output pin of the pick. I am going to use a pin number B7 and for the ground pin just connect it directly to the ground of the pick like this. In this way our LED is connected and now we can program it. And overall connection of the circuit is completed. Now let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming. So guys this over here is the hardware. This is our microphone module and one of these LED I am going to use. So this is the LED I am going to use. Now guys you can see both the LEDs are off and when I do some knocking then nothing happens. See. So now this potentiometer is of great importance. Now you will use a screwdriver to rotate it. Just rotate it in the one direction. Now it is at extreme right by default it came like this both the LEDs are on the signal pin is on so it means it is continuously sending the signal. So I rotate it in the opposite direction see now it turned off now it is too much off. Now you have to calibrate it in such a way that whatever the sound by default sound of the room or the environment in which you are is compensated using this. So I rotate it little bit to the right see the LED is now showing some now see when I knock or I speak it blinks it means it is detecting the sound see see now this is better value now if you are in, in a room where there is more noise then you may need to rotate it further so this will help you to calibrate the sensor as per your environment or the intensity of sound you want to detect now this is too sensitive it is even able to detect my sound so I make it a bit hard so it should be able to detect some higher sound. So I make it hard, rotate it further, still, still, now, now, see going further, 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 further and further. See 
if keep going in that direction now the sensitivity is too low that it is even detecting little bit of noise now we move it in the opposite direction we want the louder voice to be detected only we don't want our normal voices to be detected now i rotate it in the opposite direction now see the sensitivity has gone down now it cannot even detect my speaking see now it can only little bit detect my speaking now see okay now this seems better it cannot detect my speaking too much so now but it will be able to detect a louder noise of the knock i knock here see it can now i blow a whistle so this is better now so we will simply detect the whistle so now let's program it in such a way that whenever the whistle is blown it will detect the whistle and it will turn on an led over here for like uh, three seconds so let's do the programming so guys this over here is the micro c4 pick let me zoom in as you can see i am going to use the version 7.2.0 you can use the higher version as well as if available a higher is always better click on file new new project this window pops up new project wizard click on next write the name of the project i write here uh, uh, sound detection sound detection tutorial by learning microcontrollers simple as that now this is the path where your files will be created and select the device you are going to use i am going to use the pic 16 f 7 a and this over here is a clock the crystal connected to the pin number 13 and 14 of the pic and i have a 20 megahertz crystal there like this now click on next and finish now guys this window pops up before you do anything else first of all save your work for that press ctrl s press ctrl s this window pops up save your work now guys i am going to use a code from my previous video that was also on a similar project so i simply go to the uh, youtube let me show you i will share that code in the description as well also the link to that video in the description as well okay the youtube opens up now in the search bar you simply write the name of my channel or if you have already subscribed that's well and good or i will give you the link in the description as well so i go to my channel and i have a video here the latest the video i published just before this this one okay we detected sound and uh, after detecting the sound we use something called cs3 uh, 40 USB to TTL device to send the data to the computer. But in this video, what we are going to do is that we are not going to use the USB to TTL device. We are going to use here something called uh, an LED only, a simple LED to do various tasks. So this will be cheaper and better. So in the description of this video, you can see that I expanded. You can see the code here. This is the code. So I will share the link to this video in the description as well. I simply copy this code till here. Now it's copied. Let's go back and paste it in our micro C. Don't worry, I will sh sh share the link to that video in the description as well. So I paste it here. Now this is the code we used in the previous video. Now we modify it. Now we have our sensor on the same pin. That's perfect. D dot F1. But we have the uh, we don't we are not going to use the UART now. We are not going to use the USB tutorial device. We are only going to use the LED. So I delete this. Also, in the output as well, we are sending data over the UART, delete it, and here to delete the UART, simple as that. Now, guys, what we are going to do is that we are going to use an LED. So, we initialize the LED pin, and LED is at trace B.F7 as shown in the presentation. That is the pin number 40 of the pick equals to 0. Now, this is the trace register which define the direction, and this is the pin name B.F7, and this over here 0 means it's an output and 1 means it's an input so the direction of the pin is now output because led is always connected to an output pin now guys uh, what we do is that we give it the initial state initially the led must be off so port b dot f7 equals to 0 by default the led will be off and we also give some initialization delay this is not necessary but i always suggest you give it in the one time loop now guys what we do is that instead of sending uh, the strings now delay if port d dot f1 double equals to 0 as told you earlier i had tested this this sensor sends a 0 whenever the sound is detected else it's 1 like it's else it's a signal pin gives 1 5 volt 
if the sound is not detected but as soon as the sound is detected it becomes zero so if the zero is received means the sound is detected it will wait for 60 milliseconds because we are going to blow a whistle whistle is longer time so if we do not give this delay then it will detect every sound so this is what you will play with to deal with various sounds like you want to detect some sound then you only have to play with this 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 delay here this delay is very important whenever you are going to detect the sound so whistle is a longer sound so it will take like more than 60 millisecond if you can blow a longer whistle just make it 70 80 whatever you want now guys there if the if the whistle is like if the sound detected is still there after 60 millisecond then it will again check if still the, the sound is there then it is considered to be that sound has been detected and as soon as the sound is detected our led will turn on like this and we will keep the led on for like we keep the led on for three seconds gives the delay of 3000 millisecond which is equal to three seconds now else in the other case else else if the sound is not detected we simply give it uh, make the led go zero like port b dot f7 is zero now because sound is not detected now we build this code and see what happens okay the code is built successfully without error now we burn it into the microcontroller so i use the picket c programmer tool go to the file import hex file this is the file here sound detection tutorial double click on it click on write okay the new file is being written we wait for it to be uploaded then we go to the hardware okay it's uploaded now guys this over here is our hardware see that uh, the led is off and this is perfect let me power up the circuit okay the circuit is already powered up that's perfect now we check do it detects our whistle or not now i below a whistle see it has been detected i'm not very good at blowing whistles so but you see the longer whistle is detected. now see that's why i adjusted the sensitivity of the sensor see that it is detecting sound but this delay over here this 60 millisecond delay is playing its part that the sound detected must be greater than 60 millisecond to be declared to be detected and that is our whistle only now we again blow a whistle i am not good at blowing whistles but you can see that it can detect whistles now again i blow whistle see see See, our normal talking is not detected. It only detects those sounds which are greater than 60 milliseconds. Now, take a look here. It is detecting sounds. I make it a longer sound like, see? Now, it's greater than 60 milliseconds. That's why it's detected. Now, we even play further with it. Now, it is not qualifying for our whistle because the delay is not enough. Now, if the sound is more than like, I make it 200 milliseconds, only then consider it to be detected. Because whistle will be greater than 200 milliseconds, we can adjust our whistle time. Uh, so i am blowing whistle manually i think i should have bought some whistler that small device okay it's done now let's build rewrite the code now we have just done is that we had changed this uh, command because it was detecting random values as well like it was not a whistle because the sound whatever was produced was more than 60 milliseconds now 200 milliseconds is much more so and only our whistle can qualify this so now let me blow a whistle see it is not detecting normal voices now i blow a whistle see the whistle is directed again see now it's way better so that's how you are going to play with this delay now it is not detecting my normal talking see because the delay is even more so guys this is simple as that if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section and uh, I will share the pro programming again in the description, also link to my previous video as well in the description. So guys, we will see you in the next video. Goodbye until then.